at the University of Budapest, Hungary. Uh, he, he is an expert. Uh, we, he was the president. He was the president of the of the uh, uh, association, international association for the uh, for hypercholesterolemia. Uh, this uh, uh, he was to talk about the prevention in childhood and adolescent age by the fight against the risk factors. Can, can you can you start the the talk, Stamas? Yes, I can start. And okay. did you did you see my pictures, my slides? Yeah, okay, so okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So I should like to speak about an, a little bit other things, as I mentioned before. Uh, the secondary prevention. The secondary prevention, which is also important, not so much people is interested because it is not a population problem, but this is also a medical problem. So the prevention or, or in childhood and adolescent ages by the fight against these factors, this is a sub, a, a, such an object which want to help the special population, the special population, especially not only genetically prob uh, problem, genetic diseases, but maybe population uh, 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 who has some uh, family back bad family background and others. What risk factors are found in childhood, uh, which are a danger not for the child, exactly, uh, not for the four years old child, if not homozygoid or, 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 or familial hypercholesterolemia. But uh, the, the, the children, it, it will be a bad illness in early adulthood. Sorry, I don't want to pre prevent the, uh, in childhood and adolescence ages, uh, an illness, for example, a CHD, a coronary heart disease, of a grandfather as I, but I think that not a normal if 30 years old ages, uh, 40 years old ages had coronary uh, heart disease or strokes or maybe peripheral uh, problems of arteries. What are the risk factors which give us a possibility to know that it, uh, this child will be in danger uh, maybe in the early adulthood. Then elevated serum each LDL cholesterol level. Not a little bit elevated, but maybe two times or three times more than the normal. Uh, the normal in childhood also the, uh, about, about five millimoles per liter. The elevated serum triglyceride level. This is different in according to the age of the other children. Why? Because, for example, an eight years old child, it is at the top of the normal. This is maybe 1.1 uh, millimole per liter. And for a uh, 15 years old uh, the ladies, maybe this is 1.5. And uh, if there is maybe 18 years old ages, 1.8 or 2, also normal. So a decreased serum HDL cholesterol level. I have to speak about the HDL cholesterol, which is very, very important. Uh, this is a, a, a part of the serum, which is very important against the cardiovascular illnesses. So very important, a normal HDL cholesterol level, but a very decreased serum of HDL cholesterol level is also a sign of the later illness. Very important, the triglyceride uh, HDL cholesterol ratio, which shows us maybe the later uh, problem, uh, metabolic syndrome. Uh, obesity, it was mentioned by uh, Juan also, the obesity is absolutely the problem, in, uh, for example, nine years old child, a little bit uh, fatty. It is not a problem, why? Because maybe later it will be much better and will be an, a healthy adult. Because if the parents very tall, in this case, it is a normal thing to get some fat to the body uh, in nine years old or 10 years old ages. But obesity, 
which is maybe two times, three times more, uh, 30 ZR, for example, uh, 30 BMI, or something like this, or 40 BMI. In this case, this is a medical doctor problem. Uh, uh, together with fatty liver, which is also a sign of the later uh, problems. Uh, hypertension. Hypertension, if, if there is a little hypertension, uh, it is not so uh, big danger, but uh, if the hypertension is these ages, especially in childhood, according to the books, this is the hypertension absolutely secondary. This is not true. Since that time, then in Hungary, for example, we take screening 10 years old ages, 15 years old ages, the, the premier hypertension also there was detected. Uh, abnormal glucose tolerance test, it's absolutely, this is in these cases, an abnormal glucose tolerance test shows us that maybe later will become the diabetes mellitus. Absolutely, uh, 15 years ago, we thought, or 20 years ago, then the, uh, the uh, diabetes one, it is for children, and the diabetes two type, this is adults. Absolutely not true. Three years old ages, five years old ages, uh, diabetes two is, uh, is found in our uh, department. The high fasting plasma insulin level give an uh, information also about the danger of the second, so the type two diabetes. Elevated plasma lipid peroxidation. We don't know too much about the lipid peroxidation. This is a subject which will be much more important in the future than the, uh, uh, the present. The narrow arteries in the fundus of the eyes uh, also a sign of the, uh, the problem and because uh, one, uh, this, this is uh, the fundus of the eye is one organ and one organ which we see and give us a possibility to know that the hypertension started to be a bigger danger for the children or, or adolescents ages. Uh, and another question, the next one, then uh, what is our purpose? Our purpose is not, uh, for example, in a familial hypercholesterolemia. Uh, we want to make a complex preventive method as an obstacle of development of arterial plaques in atherosclerotic risk adolescents and young adults by the elimination of different above mentioned risk factors. Uh, uh, causes of high atherosclerosis risk, risk factors and atherosclerosis origin illnesses, coronary heart disease in close family. This is a very important question. This is a target population when we have to take care for the children because, uh, uh, and this is uh, not only a genetic problem, this is maybe a problem in the unhealthy life. Uh, how we start to treat these children? Naturally, first of all, the life modification. So we use diet, physical exercise, and so on. Uh, what diet which we think that it is a very important question, then the development is very important in these ages. This is the cause why we have to take care of the diet, what diet we uh, uh, want to uh, take. Stevia or erythrit instead of refined sugar, uh, light daily products instead of fatty milk, high fever, it is present that every day five times sweet and vegetables, and especially the antioxidant flu. Uh, and uh, this is the cause why I shall speak about the chocolates. A special instrument for cooking in which maximum two drops of oil or similar quantity of other fats is necessary for the good work which present for the cooking and so on. Uh, no fatty meats. And what is this the choice of plates? The obese children uh, have to eat 
from little place, very little place, a lot of very little plays and not bigger plays uh, because in childhood it is a very uh, good possibility to to take an idea how i uh, have to eat poor chocolates with cocoa which um, higher than 70 percent in childhood in adolescent ages i couldn't tell that please take red wine for example it would be foolish, but the cocoa, which is a fruit, a vegetable, not in Hungary, but in Chile, for example. So uh, uh, the cocoa is a very good uh, thing to give more antioxidant things, which is important for the, according to the diet. Uh, the treatment with life modification, what we have to do, uh, it, it uh, has to accommodate to the persons and to the families and to the possibilities. For example, absolute other in countryside and absolute other in the towns. Uh, it is very important driven by special physical exercise teacher. According to a personal fixed scheduled everyday program, every day, this is very important. So uh, every day we have to give a program regarding to the physical exercise or in the school, which Juan spoke to uh, us, and or in the families. Uh, usually we take it in the uh, fresh air. Until the results of move is the weightary body, because it shows us that it was enough or not. Every person is other and other. An obese children is a very bad idea to, uh, to uh, force the running because of the problem of the uh, joints of, uh, uh, for example, uh, uh, it is a very important question to, uh, to uh, no running, but uh, we have to give also special rules to cases with hypertension. Uh, others, no alcoholic drinks, and I think that it is natural, but no smoking, and please speak about the passive smoking, because the passive smoking in these ages may be sometimes much more dangerous than, for example, an active smoking for a six years old child who has only one cigarette and after coughing and so on, and maybe never more will use it. So very important, the passive smoking, passive smoking without, or I hope that not with the teachers, but uh, smoking the parents. We have to uh, deal with families and not only the child. No any energy drink. The energy drink, it is uh, sometimes, uh, uh, nowadays, it's uh, very, uh, uh, very important to use it for a, a, a child, especially if he's a sports, uh, if he'll be sports, very important that this is also dangerous. What's about the psychological devices? Can you imagine a 14 years old boy who has very bigger breasts? This is a, a shame he himself uh, never more want to uh, take out the dress, which presents then no possibility too much for the physical exercise. So the, any other problems which are uh, of these children, very important to, to deal with uh, them uh, psychologically. Uh, sometimes, but very, very rarely, very rarely, we have to give maybe uh, some medicine, some pharmaceutical therapy. Uh, the, uh, the different statin therapy only in the case of familiar hypercholesterolemia, but not if there is only maybe a 3.5 uh, LDL cholesterol or any other. No. We have to wait the start up to 10 or 6 years old ages, and that is uh, 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 Sometimes, according to me, the eight years old, a little bit uh, better uh, to wait up to the, uh, the, the eight years and there is no any problem later. Uh, so after six years old ages or eight years old ages, if 
the LDL cholesterol, not the total cholesterol, but only the LDL cholesterol higher than five millimoles per liter. And uh, we have to start by the lowest dose, uh, which is maybe five or 10 milligrams per da daily. And uh, uh, we weight the results, the decrease of the high cholesterol uh, after three months. Uh, uh, and if that is uh, uh, necessary, we have a possibility to increase the dose up to 40 milligrams. Side effects are shown by pain in muscles and or higher creatine kinase activity, creatine phosphokinase activity, when we have to stop the treatment or maybe change the treatment. Uh, statins cause a stop of the cell cholesterol production by the stop of mevalonate development. Some biological material, for example, evolocumab and others, there are an absolutely new question. The last 10 years uh, started the, uh, the pharmaceutical uh, give V as a good supply of the statin therapy. Uh, we published um, uh, a paper in the New England Journal of Medicine this year. Uh, there were not uh, see any uh, important side effect after uh, if we started this material after the 10 years old ages. Uh, a pharmaceutical therapy, not, not regarding to the cholesterol, but very rarely we use. Uh, metformin in the case of obesity. The metformin, uh, the only indication of the metformin is the polycystic ovarian syndrome, which is uh, seen, we found it in uh, 16 years old ages or 14 years old ages. Other drugs were not applied in childhood, especially not applied the surgery to uh, in childhood and adolescent ages. When there was a vaso surgery, we saw only the side effects, but it was very, very bad. Rarely, when no reaction of blood pressure was observed in hypertension, temporarily uh, we give ACE inhibitor, for example, Ibesartan, Valsartan, and so on, but very, very rarely and only temporary, which present, then uh, uh, if the uh, hypertension was detected uh, lower uh, uh, in, in this case, so the high, when the uh, uh, blood pressure went down, just we uh, take out the, this uh, therapy. What are the results? A decrease of the serum cholesterol and triglyceride level, blood pressure, and plasma insulin level. Normal glucose tolerance test and the plasma lipid peroxide level also normalized. Increased serum HDL cholesterol level uh, were observed after above mentioned therapy. Results of follow up studies in the future necessary to improve the effect of changes in these risk factors on the atherosclerosis development in young adult cases. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you so much for your brilliant, uh, for your brilliant presentation. Uh, now, uh, there is any question? Claude? Okay, thank you. Thank you for your lecture, Dr. Thomas. Any questions? Claude, Claude, can you, can you activate the audio? Okay. 
<laughs> yes, uh, I, I say that uh, uh, Thomas uh, uh, is a member of, of the board of uh, AEP for se several, several years and, uh, and we work uh, together with uh, Juan, with uh, Thomas about uh, the education of uh, of uh, of uh, pediatrics uh, uh, health and uh, and uh, we we uh, focus about uh, the uh, method of uh, teaching and and to share uh, in the population uh, the, the prevention uh, of uh, lifestyle of lifestyle uh, and uh, the human milk is a, is a, the first of uh, message to 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 share uh, to school and and, and uh, also to uh, uh, to to nurses and uh, to 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 and to uh, a consultant, lactating consultant uh, who, who is, uh, who is uh, uh, very, very uh, important uh, to... Yes, uh, it's uh, the reason that I, I have associated the 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 two um, the two um, uh, talks of, of of this uh, this morning because because uh, it's a follow results of prevention and particularly for uh, advertising uh, human milk pra practice. And thank you very much uh, for uh, the, the two uh, the talk which uh, were very, very uh, interesting. Any more questions? No more question. So we move to the general conclusion and uh, to give the awards of the ceremony to Gillian Weber. Uh, uh, Krina, are you ready for the conclusion? Uh, hello, uh, uh, hello. Are you ready for, for the next, uh, next 